Hey everybody, today's video is a combo. This is a 66 Chevy pickup and a 1980 Burrow. And my friend Jody here is going to tell us all about it. So, tell me about the truck. What condition was it in when you got it? Ooh, not the best in the world. And I got somebody just to paint it and uh, put a $700 transmission in it, disc brakes. And uh, that's pretty much on it. <laughs> and how about the camper? It's a 1980 Burrow. And what was it like when you bought it? It was a different kind of color. They all come in white. That's the only color they come in, like a scamp or Castilla. And I kind of painted it to match my pickup truck. Yeah, they look good together. Yeah, and you. he drives this around all the time. Pretty he, much, he don't pretty much. He don't baby it. No, I don't. He drives it. Yes, yeah, the driver. Got a little snake down here. <laughs> All right, so I love, first of all, the doorstep. Yeah. It's so fitting to and what he's got here. talks about my wood, but it's not wood. It's just a rubber mat. Oh, it's a rubber mat. <laughs> I thought it was like a laminate yeah, floor. Said, oh, I don't think you put in there. I said five minutes. <laughs> all right. And he collects old bottles. Well, actually, these so, the jars are old, but the labels are not. So I find a, on the computer a label. The bottles are old, but the labels are not. So I find a, like a label on on the internet and just stick them on there. I know this is a peanut butter jar. I don't know what kind, but I found a label for it and just stuck it on there. So and how about I know this is a vinegar jar. I don't know what kind, but I've seen a label, so I just did it that way. And how about that old coffee pot? This is an old coffee pot, and this is just an old medicine bottle I just stuck in there to make it look like a percolator. Okay. Uh, but that's just an old little bottle right I there. remember my parents using a percolator. Yeah. All right, so let's see the back of the camper. And I see he's got a good sticker on there. See that? Makes the camper all that much better. There you go. <laughs> all right, so tell me about the inside. What did you do? Well, the inside, I, I like old stuff. I don't care what it is. And this is my mom and dad right there and right there. And uh, the rest of them, oh, I got to thinking about campers. it. Yeah, the rest of them I got on eBay. People collect other people's, not actually the people. Let's say like old bicycles. So they go on eBay and find an old bicycle, you know. So I like old campers. So I look around and see if I can find some old photographs of a camper. Good idea. Yeah. And, and uh, it makes a wallpaper. We got some old license plates. Travel trailer, mobile home, mobile home. Yeah. And them are old postcards of uh, travel trailers of, uh, oh, I yeah. kind of blew them up a little bit, but they're old postcards of. Uh, I used to collect these with outhouses on them. Yeah. yeah. For my privies and prims business. And we had them decoupaged in the bathroom. Yeah, that's an old radio there. An old camera. So this is a dinette down to a bed. And I never put the table up, so. <laughs> never do. I don't either. I just leave mine as a bed all the time. So the burrows have a seam that goes this way. And then this is like an indoor-outdoor carpet up top that covers the part where the glue is. And there's a storage cabinet that's now over here. That used to be a dinette there. You can see the bench seats, and then that would also go into a bed. But he has it what set up that a way that works for him. Yeah, yeah, I got this at Walmart, so I might do something different later on. But that's just what. <laughs> but it works. Yeah. And there's some old stuff down there. It's got old razor blade. And your air conditioner works good. Oh yeah, it works pretty good. If I'm in the complete sunlight, it won't cool it. It won't. Uh, but uh, as long as it works at night. <laughs> And there's a little heater for when it's cold, which it was last night. All right, Jody. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, everybody, hit that thumbs up if you haven't already. And I will see you on the next camping video. Bye.